Greetings my excellent friends and welcome to Daily Scooby News. Happy hump day everyone and I hope you're doing well. So today's story, which by the way fits right at home in our old show, Weird Wednesday, takes us to Colombia, more specifically a lake in PVJ, where at the end of January someone got into a bit of a pickle. So according to sources, a 24 year old man had been fishing to feed his family and luck was on his side because he managed to catch a fish. Fantastic news. After grabbing the fish off his line, he threw the line instantly back into the lake ready to catch another fish for dinner. Uh, it turns out that his line was super popular because as soon as the line literally hit the water, a fish was hooked on it. So the chap was in a bit of a predicament. He had a new fish on his line that needed to be taken out of the water, but he was still holding his previous catch in his hand. What to do? So in a split second, he popped the first fish in his mouth. Yes, in his mouth, so he could start reeling the next fish in. Of course, as soon as the fish went into his mouth, it tried to break free or escape, and this naturally led the fish getting stuck or lodged down his throat. The fisherman was in a bit of a pickle, to say the least. He couldn't get the fish out himself, so he walked to the local hospital to get help. As soon as he got there, medics started asking him questions. He, of course, couldn't answer because, you know, he had a fish lodged down his throat. Uh, the medics noted that he was having issues breathing, so they, you know, sent him off to an x-ray to find out, to see what was wrong with him, basically. As soon as they got the x-ray results, they could obviously see the fish stuck down his throat, so they jumped into action to remove it. Uh, the fisherman was kept in the hospital over the weekend just to make sure that he was, you know, okay. He, of course, got all the okay, uh, he got the okay, should we say, and then he went on his way. So what's the moral of the story? Well, if you catch a fish, I don't know, put, rather than putting it in your mouth, I don't know, maybe take a box with you and then you put the fish in the box so then you can set your line up, cast it and get more fish. I don't know, I don't know how that works, I'm not a fisherman. If there's any other suggestions, please let us know in the comments below. But yeah, maybe don't put the fish in your mouth. At the end of the day though, we all do silly spare of the moment things now, don't we? Maybe not specifically like this, but we have done something silly before where we've done it and why did I do that? I should have just done it another way. Anyway, I'm just glad the chap in question was okay at the end and kudos for him walking calmly to the hospital, trying to explain what happened and waiting to get an x-ray all while there's an 18 centimeter fish lodged down his throat. Nice work, dude. Have you ever been in a predicament like this before? If so, let us know in the comments below. There's no judgment here, trust me. And that's it for today. Don't forget to get your questions in for Ask Mark. Just add the hashtag Ask Mark with your questions so you know we can find it and add it to the show. You can of course watch Daily Scooby News on YouTube and now earlier over on Instagram. And it's also available as a podcast wherever you listen to your podcasts. Just search for either Simply Scuba or Daily Scuba News. To our Instagram family, don't forget to part the video and maybe if you could do us a solid, share it in your stories as well. And to our YouTube family, don't forget to, you know, hit the like button, share the story with your diving buddies. And of course, if you haven't already, you gotta smash that subscribe button because we are on the road to 100K and we need your help. We wanna get 100K subscribers to this channel by the end of the year. And the more we can shout out about the channel, the more subscribers we can get, obviously the more likelihood we're gonna get 100K subscribers. So if you do us a solid, that would be great. Anyway guys, I'm gonna leave it there. So thanks for watching and as always, stay classy scuba divers.